In this video, I'll show you how to put the wheel arms or spokes onto the windmill motor. Let's go inside the shop and I'll show you how I put this windmill together. A lot of people build their windmill face down. And if you build a big windmill, you have to. But there's many different ways to assemble your windmill. Find a system that works well with you. As long as you can move it after it's complete, you'll be fine. Just don't be the guy who built it in his garage and figured out he can't get it out the door when he's done. If you're going to build your windmill on a stub tower, make sure you hold it securely. Don't let it flip over. I always build mine in the shop, hanging from the hoist. It works very well for me. Let's build a windmill. Now it's time to put the wheel arms or spokes on the windmill. Now one end has a welded nut on it. That end with the welded nut also has non-standard threads on it. Now these are special threads that the air mortar company used from the beginning of the using the 702 hub. So we stay with it today so you can replace existing if you need to. So the end with the welded nut goes towards the hub. Now remember we include this cup of grease. So we're gonna get these loaded with grease there we go. A lot of grease on it really helps. The galvanizing is pretty tough to work with. Remember, we also have grease before we filled up the holes in here. So there's grease inside of there. So it's sort of messy. So we wear the gloves. So we'll start off. We've got the clip about halfway down. The nuts towards the hub. We'll screw one into the back. Get it started. Maybe just wiggle a little bit. We don't want to mess up those special threads in there. There she goes. She started. We'll get that nice and tight, then we'll find a corresponding hole in the front and we'll start it in there. So remember, there we go, clip about halfway down, one in the back, one in the front, and we'll just keep doing this all the way around the windmill. And we'll get our, all of our wheel spokes or wheel arms put on. A couple of tips on putting together your windmill when you go to put the wheel arms on. First, don't fight gravity. Really important when you get to the really big windmills, but it's even helpful in the eight foot. So don't try to screw those wheel arms in at an angle down here and fight them all the time. Once you get the first set in, then you can use it, sort of hold it on your arm, have a helper hold it for you, and then slide this tab up and down until the two pieces on top line up like they will when they go onto the wheel. And then just jiggle it a little bit. Now look at that, it goes in by hand. Also, lots of grease on there. So remember, don't fight gravity. Don't be afraid to wiggle a little bit, but just take your time and don't cross-thread these. Well, our wheel arms are on. Remember that we have one in the front, one in the back for each pair, and then we can slide this up and down, but get it about midway and you'll be okay. And let's take a moment and let's talk about windmill-itis. Well, windmill-itis is when you poke yourself in the eye with one of these wheel arms. It's easy to do. If you're like me, you have a dog in the shop with you, I hate for my dog to get poked in the eye with one of these. Or maybe you have visitors coming in or something. So just take a paper towel, put it on these, makes it more visible, keeps people from running into it. So avoid windmillitis if you can. Think through the process. Remember, it's going to be big and bulky once those wheel arms are on, and you still have to get the blades on. The wheel arm with the non-standard threads and the welded nut go towards the hub. Remember, protect those threads. The other end of the wheel arm has a bugle end and standard threads. They go out away from the hub where the wheel connects. And don't over tighten those wheel arms. Protect those ends at all times. Both ends of the threads need to be protected. Cover them with grease. And remember, there's a tremendous amount of stress on those wheel arms. Don't break one off. And if you're in doubt, repair it now before you put the wheel on. Mm -hmm. 